how are you? I hope you all are fine. So in this video, we will discuss about chemistry of class nine, uh, atoms and molecule. Okay. So let us discuss one by one all the points. So our chapter name is atoms and molecules. Okay. atoms and molecules so let us discuss one by one all the points so in in this topic our first term is what is atom okay atom atom uh, so let us discuss what is atom okay so here is the basic points of atoms okay let us discuss one by one all the points First of all, atoms are smallest particle. It means atoms are small particle, okay? And it they cannot be seen by naked eyes. They can only seen by which type of? They can only seen by microscopes, okay? They cannot be seen by naked eye. It means oh, without they cannot be seen by. Okay, they are divided. They are divided into three subatomic particles, okay? They are divided into three atomic subparticles. That is. Electron, proton, and neutron. Okay, so I hope you understand these three points. Okay, and our last one is sorry, last second is all matters are made up of very tiny particles. Called atoms. It means matters are made up of very tiny particles. Okay. Tiny particles of atom. Okay, suppose this is a matter. Uh, uh, we all know that uh, anything that having mass, volume, and occupied surface area that is called matter. Okay, so in this video we will this video we will discuss about atoms and molecules. Okay, detail about atoms and molecules. Atoms are made up of uh, sorry, all matters are made up of very tiny particles called atom. It means matter is made up of very tiny particles that this is a matter okay so in this matter is in, in this matter is made up of what this matter is made up of al atoms okay and our last point is atoms are indivisible particles okay it means atoms are single indivisible it means single particle okay and now we have learned about atom so here is atom and molecule okay and what is molecule let us discuss about some points about molecule okay you know what is this this is called atom okay wait i will show you figure okay this is atom and atom okay so what here is written here is written a one minute This is center one is nucleus, okay? And here this one is this uh, red particles this one is what this one is neutron okay 
and this center one is what? This is nucleus. Okay. And next one is Proton. Which one? This green part, which is a one net. The green color part is called what? This is called proton. Okay. And here in this figure, we see that proton and neutron is present in the nucleus. And we know that both proton and neutron are present in the center of the what? Center of the uh, atom. Okay. So, here this blue color is one, this is what, this is electron, okay, this red particle is, this one is, what is this, this one is electron, okay, and And this one is electron orbit. This this one is orbit that the electron present on it and move. Okay. So let us discuss about molecules. Sorry, particle not atom. Two or more atoms are chemically bound together to form molecule. Okay. Molecule source all the property of constituent. Similar or different atoms are combined to
so here is the some basic points of work for of molecules okay so here first of all two or more atoms are chemically bound together to form molecules okay it means the group of atoms are chemically bonded together and form what and form molecules okay molecule shows all the property of constituent particle it means it shows the all the property of, of what constituent particles okay and similarly sorry similar or different atoms are combined together to form molecule atoms are may be similar and may be different also okay if they are combined together they form what they form molecules okay they can also be similar and they can also be different there is not compulsory that if they are similar then they are called molecules but uh, if they are different they are not called molecules they call molecules if they are similar or if they are different okay and last one is molecule take part in chemical reaction that molecule also take part in what in chemical reaction that in the reaction of chemicals okay so so here this is the figure of what this is a figure of molecules okay okay this is the figure of molecules that we can see here that uh, many atoms are co combined together to form many atoms are combined here for what for molecule and here for example that uh, that this one is atom okay and they are chemically sorry they are they are formed together okay and form what form molecule that is water h2o okay and uh, we can say that they are similar no we cannot say that they are similar because because there is two uh, two number of hydrogen and one number of oxygen it means they are different okay many atom this one is atom okay are chemically bonded see here is the bonding you can see the bonding okay together to form a molecule okay and after this we will uh, read about uh, some more points okay So our next term is what uh, atom atomicity. Okay. Atomicity. Okay. So our uh, what is atomicity? The number of the number of atom constituting a molecule is known as It means the number of atom means in the molecule. Uh, suppose that here is H two O, okay, and uh, how many number of hydrogen atom are present in H two O? Here we can see two, okay. So this is what this is the atomicity, okay. So the number of atom constituting a molecule is known as atomicity, okay. See the types of uh, atomicity that uh, no, 
vuelta. Modo atomic, ok? Second one is diatomic. Ok. Triatomic. Tetraatomic. And polyatomic. Ok? Okay, uh, first one is monoatomic, second one is diatomic, and third one is what? Uh, tetra, sorry, triatomic, tetra, and polyatomic. Okay, so atomicity can all, uh, be type of three atom. Okay, let's see the example of monoatomic. Monoatomic it means H O P. Um, H E okay, and here is what one 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 one. There is also one okay. So this is all the example of for what for mono mono atomic means single mono it means one okay. And second one is diatomic. Let's see the example of diatomics. It means um, like uh, S two O two N two. Okay, this one is the example of which diatomic. Okay, it means di means two. Okay, and third one is triatomic. It means uh, sorry, I, O3. Okay, O3 is called what? O3 is called ozone. Okay, and this one is what? Tri atomic means three three atoms of molecule three atoms okay and fourth one is uh, tetraatomic means uh, the atom that constituting a molecule is the number of atom that constitute the four number of the four number of atom constituting a molecule is known as atomic City, okay, so uh, our fourth number is tetraatomic means four atoms. So P four, it is C, and our last one is polyatomic. It means many, means more than four, okay. So more than four. One example of that uh, is it, okay? It is C. So this is the meaning of atomic city, okay? So uh, in this video, we have learned about atoms and molecules and about also what is atomicity. I hope you understand all the terms that I have uh, taught you. So, and this that's all for today and uh, uh, let's see you in next video.